and welcome to another episode of the Vertical Views Basketball Podcast with your host, the Truth Serum Mitro. Woo! And finally back in studio. Look at him. Yes, sir. Sitting right across from me, Gemstar. I'm biased. What it do, baby? Yo, it feels mad good. He's being back. On, I'm telling you. It feels great. Warmed I missed up. Missed this. Missed it. Ready missed to this. talk. Ready to go crazy. Yes, sir. I can't Let's believe it. it. It's been such a long time. Yes, it I, has. I feel like I've, like I said this to you already. I feel like yeah. I've seen you so many times in between but that's because every time i watch the videos i see your face <laughs> but like yeah. it's so weird i feel yeah. like i haven't seen you yeah. but i feel like i have yeah that's that's really that's weird it's been more than five months no long time long man ass time, long man. time but we're back let's we're, do it we're back okay so we're gonna run through the first round really quickly wait, it's gonna wait, be a wait let's shout out the social media oh man i forgot yeah. you know i always forget it's yeah. like the fifth time all right go ahead yeah do that please follow us on instagram at vertical views basketball mm-hmm. please follow us on twitter at vertical views bp subscribe to the youtube channel comment like all that good stuff yeah we got a guest episode coming out after this one you might see us wearing the same clothes uh you probably will see yeah. us <laughs> wearing the we, same we clothes. just recorded it yeah we, we just recorded it <laughs> so yo go watch that when that drops yeah it's pretty dope now let's get into wait, the first wait, round and, and oh bloopers. not even i'm sorry and we have a couple cool bloopers in there yeah you're gonna see uh you're gonna yeah, see i don't want to spoil fun. it it was fun i don't want to spoil it it was fun first round recap we're not gonna go a long time on this because we are in the second round and we do have the lakers playing soon yep um, Bucks magic. The Bucks took care of the magic pretty easily after dropping that first game. I don't have much to say about that. Um, Raptors Nets, same thing. They took care of the Nets uh, very easily. Easy. Not much to say. The Nets didn't even have their roster basically. Um, Sixers and Celtics. Or should I say Celtics and Sixers since the Celtics were the higher seed? I do want to say Simmons didn't play. Um, you, you're getting these vibes, and Embiid is going to get traded now, and he's looking like he's going to get traded. He wants to get traded. It sounds like. Butler is trying to get him on the heat. I don't know what's going on. I already told you in the beginning when we first started this podcast, I was never a fan of the Sixers. Um, I don't like what they have built. I don't think I don't believe in the coach. I don't believe in the system. I don't even know if they have a philosophy on that team. Um, I think Embiid and Simmons are both overrated. I don't think they're A stars on any team. Wow. I don't think they could lead any wow. team to the championship. That's a take. Um but yeah, that team's gonna get bro- broken up, and I think that's what needs to happen. I don't know if you want to say anything about that. I mean, they fired the coach, Brett Brown. Okay, so gone. he's gone already. So see, I didn't even know that. Let's uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so there. he's gone. I Embiid mean, has been hinting on Twitter. Hinting a lot. a lot. Let's see what happens. A lot. Um, Pacers Heat, easy. Good series. The Heat took care of them pretty easily, though. But it was a solid, hard fought series. The Pacers definitely gonna come back next year a lot better, yeah, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, because they, they were um, missing Sabonis. Anyway, yeah, so and, and, and Oladipo was nowhere yeah, near yeah, like he what he should have been. Yeah. On to the West recap. Lakers, Blazers. Um, Lakers bounced back very well after that after that lackadaisical start in that first game. Mm-hmm. Um, they took care of business. Clippers, Mavericks. So this is where I want to jump in. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care if you guys think this is a hot take. I really do believe this. Um, I wasn't on the Luka bandwagon, but now I am. Um, Gemstar was actually more on it than I was, but now I'm going to leapfrog you. <laughs> you did. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to start with this. I think if Porzingis wasn't injured, he missed two think, and a half games or three, two and a half. I think he got ejected, he got ejected out of ejected one, in one. He missed and he missed two. two. Yes. Yeah. So he missed two and a half games. I'm going to be honest with you. The Clippers obviously Stats won the guy. series 4-2. Stats guy. I think I'm going to, I'm really being honest with you, Gem. I really think the Clippers had it. I think the Mavericks could have beat them in seven. Wow. I think the Mavericks could have went to a game oh, seven, man. and in game seven, you think it's so. possible. No, I don't know. No, I'm saying you think so. I really felt it, and I, I'm going to say this, and let me get into my real take. I think Luka will be one of the top ten players of all time when it's all said and done. Um, the, that game I saw where he hit the game winner was one of the most complete games I've ever seen in playoff basketball history. I know it's the bubble, but... Um, like, the Clippers are not just, like, a regular team. It's his first mm-hmm. run. He's 21 or 20. Um, 21. Um, 21. It's his first run ever. It's his first playoff. Bat- he was getting roughed up, so it was physical. Yeah. He's playing the Clippers, okay? Players don't just do this. This was phenomenal. This was this was like Jordan's big game against the Celtics, where he had that big game. They lost the series, and people were hating on Jordan, like, oh, he's not gonna be, he's not going to be Dr. J., He's not going to be Magic. He's not going to be Bird, whatever. He, you know what I mean? And then late, years later, now when you look back on that game, you're like, wow. That's not even surprising. That was MJ, you know what I'm saying? I think this is one of those series. He averaged 30, 10, and 10 on high field goal percentage. I mean, 
he was phenomenal. I, I he showed no weaknesses to me on the offensive side of the ball. He has the stats already in his second year. Again, also averaged in the series, but in the season, 30, 10, and 10, or 39 and 9. Um I think his, 20, his, yeah, 29, his stats 29. by the time he retires, he's gonna be in the LeBron category. The only guy to be top five yeah. in points and assists, if not top ten. Yeah. And and rebounds wise, he'll be up there. He's averaging nine right now. Yeah. Um He's gonna have the stats. I think he's gonna have the jewelry. I think he's winning MVP next year. Um, that's I, that's my bold prediction. If Porzingis can somehow manifest himself into a real second option, they get a couple more role players. I see a championship team with the Mavericks, and 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 I'm, and I'm not mad at anybody. I do think Luca right now is top five. They 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 definitely need a couple of vets to a hundred percent. But I think what they saw now, they got to go all in. Oh, they have they got to go absolutely, all in. Absolutely. Like you like so, don't hold so, back. And we don't know if this is peak Luca yet. So, that is even crazier like to me. It, like this, this might not even be peak. That's Luka. even crazier <laughs> to me. That's so crazy. Top, f- speaking about top ten of all time, I mean, I don't think it's a crazy take. Uh huh. Like how good he is. Just seeing how good he is right now at the age of twenty one, he's having a better second year than LeBron. I've is. never seen anybody have a better yeah, second year. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen exactly in basketball think, history. He's having a second, a better second year than LeBron. Did. Unless you're talking about like the sixties, where like Wilt in his second year is averaging forty. But yeah. that's like let's say before those. Yeah. yeah. But um, it's crazy. Yeah, so I don't think it's unrealistic to think that he can be a top 10. The only thing that uh, for Luka, for me, is he has to get better defensively. I agree. I, I agree. mean, he's he's not Trey Young bad, and we've been Definitely talking about not. this. He's not Trey Young bad. Not. He does have potential. He's at size. He's smart. So if he can, if he can work on his footing and, and, and just defensive IQ, if he can add that, absolutely he can be a top 10 player. Because when you look at top 10 players, you look at, let's say you look at Jordan, beast two-way player. LeBron. Most of them, most of them were like, so. You know what I mean? LeBron, like Will, like uh, whoever. All Kareem, these guys, all of them, all of them. Kobe, yeah. Like all these guys that you name, Akeem, like they were all great defensively as well. So I know offensively he's like out of this world, but once he puts in work on his defensive end, he can absolutely be top ten, maybe top five all time, bro. I, I'm That's not mad not, at that. I'm, like he can, like he has that potential. Yeah, yeah. It's you know just. You know, barring he stays healthy and and you know, like he keeps at this pace, or even if he gets better. So I think the health is definitely the only thing. Yeah. But if he stays healthy, I I I saw a guy that can make every pass possible. I saw a guy that carried the team on his back with no Porzingis. I saw a guy that against the Clippers shouldn't do that in their first run. I don't even know if LeBron. Let's say the Lakers <laughs> come out the Rocket series. I don't even know if LeBron's going to be able to put up 30, 10, and ten at like a high field goal percentage. He didn't. And the, the the games that he faced. Like who can do yeah. what he did? In yeah, that situation, yeah. in the NBA right now, I, I don't even think there's another player. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I, I thought he was gonna have a good series, but he had like a that beast, was ridiculous. Like, ridiculous. He's series. the only player to ever do that in their yeah. first series. Okay, I don't want to. I do before we get off the Clippers. Yeah. though, I do like you know because we're getting into the second yes. round. But I think Paul George not playing uh, to his playoff P, except instead well, of being the pandemic P, pandemic P. Really, yeah. how about this one? PG thirteen percent. There you go. That's another. That's another one. There you go. I think that wow. dragged the series a little uh, longer than it should. Definitely have. did. And, Definitely and, did. And they were missing Pat Bev, and a, a lot of people hate on Pat Bev, but his him being on court, his defensive, you know, uh, he has impact. He has impact, like has impact. for the team. He he, he yeah. you know he does talk a lot of trash, so he he can get into players' heads. So I think, true. I think no, Pat, yeah. And we saw in the first game uh, against the Nuggets. Like he he played eight minutes, but it was it was really efficient. It was an minutes. it was an efficient so, eight minutes. So we'll see. The Mavericks are primed for the future. So many years ahead of them. Uh, Clippers obviously in the second round right now. Nuggets Jazz. Uh, I got attacked on Instagram from Josh because I don't like as a fly. I don't like that um, fly's been in here all a while. Yeah, yeah. I don't like Mitchell too much, but I'll give him respect. He played a phenomenal series. Yeah. They did blow a three one lead though. They did. They it's did. It's a little tough. I mean, I, I was expecting the Nuggets. We, I think we were we both had the Nuggets. nuggets to um, win. We did have the Nuggets. Um, um, so, I don't know. But the NBA is in good hands, man. With There's Murray, a lot of great Mitchell. young guys. And I love that these guys elevate their game in the playoffs. Mm. Like Mitchell, this is not his first playoffs where he's elevated mm, his game. That's true. He did and that against want, OKC originally. Exactly. Yeah. And you want your star to elevate their game Completely in, the, agree. in the playoffs. So, I think. Completely agree. He was averaging like 36 points per game. It bro. was crazy. Him he and Murray leading, were he crazy. Was, I think he's leading the, the league in. Playoffs, points, yeah. At that time, yeah, yeah. So, great series. Nuggets took that one, obviously. Um, and then a surprise series. Rockets, the last one. Thunder, 
Seven games. No, no, no. I called it. <laughs> that was the only one that I You know I, what? I Shout out to Jim. Right. He said seven. <laughs> that was crazy I to me. Rockets and seven, yeah. I, I, I thought they were going to lose. And I remember you asked me, you were like, do you think Harden can win the seventh game? And yeah. Harden played like crap. He garbage. But, <laughs> that's a classic Harden game, but though, bro. Westbrook and, and, you know, these guys, they stepped in. So That's a classic Harden game, though. It is. He I, consistently plays bad. Game sevens. In game sevens. Yep. Or like it's gotta be the pressure. Like he might, it has just, to be. It has to be. And you know the refs don't call it as as loose. So you're not getting the tic tac fouls that Harden yeah. usually gets to the line sixteen, yeah. seventeen times. So he's I, I do, guess that's what it is. I do give him credit for that block at the end though. That was that was pretty clutch. That's a great defensive recovery, I'm not yeah. gonna lie. He did come from the other side and he contested it. He got yep. the block. Shout out to Chris Paul though, man. Oh, wow. I, I was gonna actually forget about him, so I'm glad you brought it up. Wow. Yeah, he's shout out to Chris Paul. I mean, I what where I have him fifth or sixth all time on my list, similar to you, I yeah, think. Fifth, yeah, I think we both have him fifth. Um, one of the best point guards all time. Absolutely. And he's still serviceable. Absolutely. And and I and I actually wish somehow he ended up on like the Bucks if Giannis was to remain there, because they need a guy like Chris Paul. Like he fills in exactly what the Bucks don't have. Yep. A guy that can do stuff with the ball in his hands. A point guard, a leader. Yep. I think someone will. You think? I, mean, I don't know. I, I was thinking that someone like a, a team will trade for him, but oh yeah, oh okay. I thought you were gonna say the Bucks. Oh, yeah, no, um, no, 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 Bucks. Nah. The Thunder might want to build on what they have. They might want to sign somebody. I don't know. The yeah. Thunder have had a good record of getting guys over there, man. They really have. Oladipo, Paul George, Russ has stayed there. KD. I don't know. It's, yeah, they got a little bit of see. history. But okay, that's the first round. Um, let's get into the second round with what we're active with right now. The Lakers do play soon, but right now, yeah. right now they're down. One zip to the Rockets. Yep. Excuse me. How do how do you how do you gauge? I mean, what's small going on right now? All worked. Let's just let's 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 put it that way. I want to say this. I read somewhere where AD did not score for twenty six possessions while being guarded by PJ Tucker. Not even a not even a beast. not even a free throw. Absolutely beast. He locked he locked him. He locked him up and he guarded he guarded great against LeBron. Yeah, he too. played well against LeBron so, as well. PJ Tucker, man. Shout out to PJ Tucker, who's been absolutely a beast. Six five playing center, stopping all these big guys. So I, I wouldn't say A D is a power big guy. I do think if PJ Tucker had the guard, look, I, I'm not gonna hate on maybe. Embiid, but if he was guarding Embiid and Embiid wasn't shooting jump shots, it's a lot of ifs. I don't want to go into that too much, but it would be a lot harder. A D does roam a lot like a perimeter player. So he's guarding a six eleven guy, but he's also guarding a guy like A D sitting out there. He's not really getting him ducking in into the block. And, uh, he does, and, that and 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 I think I just read a report that AD doesn't want to play the five against the Rockets, but he was like, he's whatever been the team saying wants. that. I think when he yeah. got signed, he was saying that. That's why yeah. they ended up getting uh, Dwight and McGee, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't like, like playing the five, but I mean, Harden had a cl- a classic Harden game where he played very well with a lot of free throws. Yes, and if you get that James Harden, you get a potential championship team. But as you know, as I know, as I think everybody that follows basketball knows, the Rockets are probably the most hot and cold team in the last how many yeah. years, Jim? Ever since Harden's been there, yeah. the most hot and cold yeah, team. Yeah. They could literally come out tonight and lose by 30. They could. And it would just be like, oh, yeah. classic. You got Westbrook on the team. Yeah. Classic Houston. Like, yeah. I mean, listen, they've, they've been impressive this year. You know, yeah. one, one switch into the small ball because I didn't think, honestly, I didn't think it was going to work. It has been. I, I'm not saying that they're going to beat the Lakers. I don't think they are. They almost lost to the Thunder, man. Yeah, I don't think they're going to beat the Lakers. I mean, if Westbrook was healthy, I think they would have had a. I, remember, I was saying if, if Westbrook uh, yeah, is healthy, yeah, you're they'll, right. they'll win in like you I know, agree six. Too. But you're right. Um, I mean, the, the you're Thunder right. are a good team too. So, um, like Harden, Westbrook, they'll get their numbers, right? James, we though, hope Harden's going to get his numbers. I think he will in the series. James and um, Davis, even though they, you know. James was held scoreless in the fourth. I think they'll obviously pick up because a little rust. Well, from, how do you feel Kimberly. about LeBron typically losing that game one always? I think he's lost game one in the last six like series, LeBron and he's five and one in those series. Does this to analyze what's going on? Yeah, and then he just attacks. I think I, I did something yeah. with him, man. Well, like, that's what I'm going with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. And and they were a little rusty. They they had a lot of uh, off days, so I do think the Lakers will win. But as I was saying. Those oh, four we gotta guys. make our predictions. I don't want to cut yeah. you off. Yeah, I, I'm, I was gonna say six. I'm not. I'm gonna be fair. When have, they're down one zip, and I'm still saying six. I have the Lakers in seven. Okay, but those four guys will hit their you know numbers. So it all really depends on the supporting guys, mm-hmm. supporting cast. 
So, you know, if you got Gordon and Rivers hitting threes and they're tough to stop, while you have Kuzma and KCP and Green, these guys missing, then the, the, it, it tilts towards the Rockets because those four guys will, will, will hit their numbers, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, I'm, the only time, uh, the only disagreement I would have was when it comes to Westbrook, man, I don't know what numbers he hits because he's just so like, and Harden is a, is is a degree less, but man, when they're cold, they're Did like four cold? for twenty cold, <laughs> with like eight turnovers. Yeah, I know. Like it's bad, and they're on the same team. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with six because I just think the Rockets are very, like I said, hot and cold. I, I can't trust that team. I agree. They could be up three one and lose the series. Like I wouldn't be surprised. I agree, but I mean, I I do have to give them credit because defensively man i, I did they played not well. expect them to yeah. be this good defensively even in the the thunder series you know harden's I mean? a very good post defender, defender. He is. we spoke he's about strong. this one yeah, time he's but he's not a good perimeter. i wouldn't say he's a bad perimeter defender but he's not the best he doesn't feel like moving his f- legs yeah. i'm not gonna curse but yeah. right. in the post he just sticks there yeah. okay lakers rockets that covers that let's go to the clippers nuggets um Kawhi, they're one one right now i was actually really shocked that the nuggets ended up Picking up game two, Kawhi played his first bad game of the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Um, I was shocked at both those things happening. I thought, I'm going to be honest, I had the Clippers in five. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Nuggets as, 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 like, as a defensive team and even as a team in the, in the, at the end of the stretch to close the game out. Like I don't believe in either or. You know what I mean? Like I don't think they have a go-to guy to score. and I don't think they have a, any go-to guys to get defensive stops. So I'm, I am shocked that it's one run right now. I completely expect... The Clippers to come out and and win Game Three, I'd be shocked if they don't. But Pandemic P is really a deciding factor. I mean, if he it decides, I mean, Kawhi had one bad game, but if if Pandemic P decides he's gonna have a whole bad series, yeah, that's where he had to like really step up and be the Paul George that we know. Game Do two. we know a Paul George, or is that a myth? Do we actually <laughs> know a Paul George that we step? Yeah. I don't even know if that's a thing, yeah. man. I mean. I heard a hot take that he wasn't even top fifteen the other day, I, and I actually I don't league? even yeah I don't even know if that's a hot take. That might be fact. When everyone's healthy, I don't. Not even I top fifteen. Yeah, I, don't, I can see that. Twenty. He's a, a dad. He's definitely top twenty. Like number twenty. I w- I would have him somewhere between fifteen and twenty. I'd have to do my list, but I think he'd be somewhere between fifteen and twenty. He'd be like twenty for me. No, what off off the top of my head? Yeah. Like I would have a guy like Devin Booker like ahead of him. Nah, I wouldn't. I think Booker's better I, than him. I think. Paul George is a two way man. It's you know, true. You're going big on those two way players. He's two way, but is, is he two way when he can't when he's when he can't score? <laughs> it's overrated this scoring. This is in the playoffs. That's what it matters. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Listen, when can I ask you something when, real quick? Yeah, Luca Harden. Luca. Okay, that's fair. Luka. I feel the same way. I will take Luca. Okay. Anyway, what are you saying, Paul George? Uh, We'll probably get killed for that though. <laughs> I have. I don't even care because I've been getting killed the last week and a half. I, think, I don't care. I think Luca's. I think he's leaped. I think this playoffs he's leaped Harden. If you would have asked me before the playoffs, I would have said Harden. Harden wouldn't have done what what Luka but, did I mean, against I don't want to disrespect Harden. I don't. I don't want to disrespect Harden. He's one of the best scorers of all time. I think he is one of the. The, the, the crazy thing is they have a similar style. Luka's better than Harden but, at but the you, same style. But you know what I mean? Yes. though? they have a similar yeah, style. Passing. They have, yeah, scoring at will. But people hate Harden and they love Luka, but it's the same style. It's exactly the same. But Luca had a, a better did not have this the amount. Luca didn't have one breakdown in that Clipper series. Exactly, and that was a. T- That's why I think the playoffs yeah. leapfrogged him for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, leaped him over. Like we we all know Harden would have had a breakdown at one point. He's gonna have he a break. He might have a he breakdown did. tonight. He did. He, he might did. have a breakdown tonight. We see yeah. it every playoffs. There's a couple yeah. games where he's just like, I don't know yeah. why we're talking about Harden so much. So let me talk about Kawhi. All right, Kawhi with a great first round series. Um. Against Luka himself, I think he was averaging 33, 34, high field goal percentage. Killed the Nuggets in game one. Um, yeah. If Kawhi doesn't play a bad game two, I think they still win game two. Uh, but Paul yeah. George going forward, if they do end up with a Clippers-Lakers uh, conference finals, I mean, I, I don't know what happens. How are you going to beat the Lakers with Paul George yeah. not it's playing tough. well? I mean, when healthy and playing to the full strength, the Clippers, in my opinion, are the best team in the league. Um, but you know, our playing at full things, strength. Full you mean strength. everyone playing well? Everyone, yeah. Okay. You got, you got Lou Will. You got Harold. Mm-hmm. Harold, uh, Harold and um, Morris. Like these guys. You know, all these guys have to hit their shots. Have to play good. Then they're the best, untouchable. I agree. Opinion. If they're all playing well. 
because that's have, like they, the question. They're, they're good on the defensive end too, man. They got great guard perimeters. I know you don't like PG, but he's still a good perimeter. Defender. I think his defense is overrated. He's a good defender though, yeah. but it is overrated in my opinion. I don't. I, I wouldn't think he say. was better. I think it's. I can. Dropped. I could argue with it's that. It's dropped. I could argue since with that. His, the the uh, even no with OKC he was doing great. He was he was top five MVP. Yeah, and he was. I think he was up for a defense player. That was yeah. one of his best seasons, yeah. bro. Like ever. So I think. Even before them, like if, if, if Kawhi and PG, man, if they're clicked in one after Kawhi's another, Kawhi's usually locked in though. He is. So I. So guess it's more on PG. That's what I was saying. If he's not playing and, well, how are you going to beat the yeah, Lakers yeah. if they make it? But they they match up. I think they match up really well against the Lakers. So they have to be. They they have to. They play have the to best matchup for the Lakers. Uh, they've they've kept LeBron, because you know LeBron he hasn't played well. Played well against. Guard he hasn't played well. Man. He hasn't played well. So um, wait. So what do you have the Clippers? I don't want to cut you off. Clippers in six. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. I think I'm the Nuggets came in hot. So I I I felt like they were gonna take either two game two or three, because they came in hot. I'm, I I thought game one would be closer, but they you know I, I think they're probably them. tired. But um. Okay. I I I don't I I do think that. They do have a, a, a go-to guy in Murray. He showed it in the first first round. Mm. I think he, he he was incredible in the first round, man. Murray first fourth quarter clutch. He's becoming a tough shot maker. I don't know how go-to he is, but he did play well in game two. He did. He did play well in game two. And they two. already got Jokic, so yeah, Jokic is a beast. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. We're going to the East. Um, we'll start with this one. This is the juiciest one I think out of all four of these series. Heat Bucks. Heat are up 3-1 as of right now. The game did end a while yeah. ago, you know, so you know when we're and recording what were you this. Calling that? What were you calling that with the honest Okay, hurt? okay, so let me <laughs> let me clear this up now. Okay, Jim. So the whole year, I was pushing the Heat to go to the finals. Yeah. I was like, the Heat, I think they yeah. could beat the Bucks. Yeah. I think they got it. I believe in them. And then I'm not going to lie to the public. I picked the Bucks in seven in this series. Cause I had a feeling it was gonna come down. Like I had a feel, like I knew I the, the Heat too, were gonna yeah. slap them a couple times. Like it wasn't gonna be a clean. Yeah. Um, and I regret it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I regret it. I I saw this coming, and I didn't stick to my gun. So I I woke up very upset. I texted you. Yeah. I was very upset that this happened yeah. because I I wanted to I wanted to feel. It's true though. You've been telling me since before the playoff before before Corona hit. You were telling me Miami was. Was, and nobody was believing me that could come out the east. And nobody was believing yeah. me. Yeah, it's true. But I, I can't. I don't even know how much credit I could take because I didn't even. I didn't uh, even pick them. I'm a witness. I'm a okay, witness. that's a witness. all right. That's fair. I'm I know a, a couple of people watching this are gonna know that too because I, I yeah. was speaking about the Heat yeah. very highly. Um, Bam is the key, man. I mean, Jimmy's obviously yeah. the key, but Bam being so versatile at the so five, yeah. his rotational play with his length and speed is ridiculous on defense. Yep. Yeah. Like, he can literally wall up and run from across the court. Like, he is a legit X factor for that Miami team. I think Jimmy actually said it himself. Yeah. Um, and, and remember, we were talking about Giannis did his numbers drop. When his worst game ever the, in the season was against yeah. the Heat during the yeah. season. And this is with fans. And so. Miami beat them in the, in the regular oh, slapped season. Slapped them up in the regular season. Like, they, you know, slapped they took them the, up. Series, the yeah. season series. So. And, and I love Butler, his impact. We've been high on Butler the whole year yeah. and always have. Yeah. Super impactful player. The whole team plays like him. Yeah, well, and, and he's and, going on a level. But Giannis got hurt today. So he let's talk about down. Giannis. Yeah. This is why I wanted to bring this up. Not for the Heat or myself. There is so much heat being no pun intended. <laughs> so much heat being thrown at Giannis, Giannis right now. Yeah. As if I now I, I just want to be honest. As if Shaq didn't get swept six times in his career before Kobe came along. Yep. Six times, bro. Yep. Until two thousand. What Shaq came in in ninety two. Eight years, six out of the eight years, Shaq got swept, and no one had anything to say. Yep. And then and Kobe he had Penny, and Penny and, was and he won titles Penny with Wade. Yep. And Kobe. Yep. And he had Penny. No, I'm saying when he got swept, he had he Penny. had Penny so at those he, times. He didn't have Giannis. Didn't have a guard Giannis. Like don't have Penny, bro. Yeah. Giannis has George Hill, bro. <laughs> and Eric Bledsoe. And can we stop with this Bucks making the playoffs? Yeah, if okay. Giannis wasn't there, I mean, what, I know what, they want tonight. What'd you call that? What'd you call that? The 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 superstar injury. When oh, like, that's super. Uh, I mean, basically, just for lack of a better phrase, it's like superstar injury cheese. Like when a player gets injured, and then all of a sudden the rest of the team, yeah. it's like, oh, a, a guy went down. Let's play for him. <laughs> Yo, it's three zip, bro. What are you playing for? You couldn't play the first three yeah, games. Seriously. Why would? Why does he have to? I mean, you know, we don't know what the injury is. 
I saw it. It looks like a snap of a knee. Yeah, it's bad. Some man. type he of tear. Was a lot last game, yeah. And shout out to Giannis for actually playing through it and um, wanting to play more minutes. Shout out to Giannis, bro. Uh, I thought he was having a great series under the circumstances. He's he's more like Shaq, but he's coming from the perimeter. So if I was to tweak anything on his game, and I think this goes hand in hand with why he needs a guard. He likes to get his shot attempts because he can't get the ball anywhere else because there's no one else to create for him from the top of the key or the wing, mostly the top of the key, to get to the rim. Mm-hmm. And I think he's trying to fill both voids. Mm-hmm. The the void that Shaq couldn't do by himself. Mm-hmm. you know. And then Kobe came along and Kobe took care of that whole perimeter situation. And Giannis and Shaq would have only had to basically control where they operate in, which is the paint. And I think Giannis does too much. And I think if he was paired up with another guard, it doesn't even have to be to Kobe's caliber because Kobe was obviously a top 10 player all time, and so was Shaq. Mm -hmm. Um, It doesn't have to be a Kobe. A guy as simple as like Chris Paul Mm -hmm. or or, or my my personal favorite to pair with him would be a Devin Booker. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's all he would need. And and to be so so hard on him, it's very hard to believe. And people are saying he's not the best player in the league. He's not the second best player in the league. Some people, people say he's say not he's even top, top five. five right now, bro. And like That's you, crazy. you guys are bugging out, man. The, his impact is ridiculous. He's first in defense. He won Defensive Player of the Year. He's about to win MVP. He's gonna win MVP. The team is not good. This team is worse than LeBron's Cavs team. And people can say, "Oh, you're bugging out. You're bugging out." I had this um, interaction on Instagram. LeBron's Cavs team had Mo Williams as an All Star. Oh, you talking about the first one? Oh, okay. Zajunas Ogalskis was a one time All Star. Mm-hmm. Um. And the rest of the team was solid. Uh, I'm trying to think. Larry Hughes yeah, was a 20-point-per-game scorer. Mm-hmm. There, there's not even a Larry Hughes on this Bucks team, yeah. let alone a Mo Williams. If you want, Chris Middleton is not. Chris Middleton is a all-star by that, product yeah. of success of Giannis. He's not a second option. He's not even an all-star, in my yeah, opinion, he's, bro. He's proved it. He's proved it time after time. Come he on, is not man. a second option. You can't run an offense through him. What does he do? If Giannis is not playing well, what you're gonna? Middleton's not picking up any type of slack. Anything. He's not. He's not. And Giannis needs help. If he's staying at the Bucks, they absolutely need to get him players. Because this team, it could be next year. Giannis could keep getting better and better. But with this team, they're not doing anything. They're not doing. They're, they're not doing anything. And 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 I it, I try to stay off after the the Bucks lost because I was on and I saw all these takes. Getting he's not in right? five top top five. T- I was just like it was like I was like come on man this is ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. This guy's so dominant. Like even. Games that they lose, he's still putting up triple doubles, as a six eleven guy that's you know taking the ball in. Like he it's does, it's crazy. <laughs> so it's 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 crazy. I mean, I I understand he doesn't have a jumper yet, but that's not his game right now. That's not his he style. He doesn't need right now. a jumper. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah, that like like we talk about Shaq. Think of him as Shaq. Yeah. Like but. Someone who can actually carry the ball from the three point line. That's the only difference. He the, can handle it. And a, a better yeah. passer. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, better like, passer. So he can handle the ball. Exactly. He can handle the ball. So think of him as a Shaq, where everyone, like, you know, my take, everyone puts Shaq top 10, but they Some think, people have him higher than that. They think, yeah, but they think Giannis is, 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 is trash. Makes no, it's, it's, makes no sense. Makes no sense to me. Yeah. It makes no sense. It's bias. It's bias. It's very bias. It's I like think, I love Shaq's all the time. But you know sudden. what it is? It's because he's going to win the MVP and they want someone else to win the MVP and that's why they're getting that. Yeah. So. <laughs> Lucas won an MVP next year. Yeah. I'm telling you that right now. Could. I mean, he could. If he keeps it up like this, he can. They're going to have a high seating. As yeah. long as Porzingis doesn't decide he's injured for half yeah. the season like he always does. But, yo, shout out to uh, Jimmy Butler and the Heat. They have been so solid. absolutely great basketball. Yeah. It's, they're fun to watch, man. Fun. They're shooters. They're gritty. They play defense. Yo, I think they, he's, by the way, he's I, think he's, mission, I think bro. he's going there next year. I've been saying, that. been saying that. Now the reports Not are coming next, out. Oh, traded there? Uh, That's a good point. Yeah, you've I think been he, saying Miami I since day one. I think either one. traded or free agent. I think either way. Yeah, you were saying Miami since day one. Yeah, I, I feel very strongly about that. Yeah. Very strongly about that. But, but yeah, this is ridiculous. Just to get back to Giannis, it's crazy, five, bro. by the way. <laughs> That's fair. But I'm if not you mad at that. Me, I'm gonna be very honest with you. I was I I was gonna say Bucks and six. Okay, I had Bucks and seven. We're both wrong on this. Yeah. I, I I do know people that picked the Heat. 
again, I'm kicking myself oh, for yeah, not I, picking them. I've seen people pick the Heat. Yeah. I'm not mad at that. I mean, I think oh, no. a couple people told me I got the Heat, and I was like, all right, I'm not mad at that, bro. I'm not going to argue with you because I can see it. It's hard, man. It's hard because, you know, they, they put all their bodies on Giannis, and when he kicks it out, guys aren't making their shots. So. And they're not capable of even getting in, getting to the lane, yeah. causing any type of movement. Like, literally, it's Giannis or nothing. Yeah, and their coach is... He's, he's using these guys 35, 34 minutes a game. You saw, we're going to get to the, the Raptors and Celtics next. But, yeah, that's our next one. You saw a nurse. Put, these guys were playing over Lowry 40 minutes. Lowry played 40 bro, something. Like 44 minutes. Yeah, Lowry played 40 something. And he's nowhere near the athlete that's crazy. that Giannis is. It's crazy. Um, again, though, but guys, stop with the Giannis stuff, man. He's definitely yeah. super elite. I mean, it literally goes like this. If Giannis ends up with a, with a teammate somehow and he and he ends up going on a, like a championship streak, and he's dominating, people are going to start hating on him because he's dominating. And they're exactly. going to say, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now it's like, oh, he sucks. But he's not going to suck, though, when he goes somewhere else, right? <laughs> All right. Anyway, yeah. to the last series, um, Raptors Celtics tied up at 2-2. Amazing comeback by the Raptors. Ga- series winning, season Saving, winning, yeah. saving, whatever you <laughs> yeah. shot by an Anobi. Yeah. Um, That's crazy. Ridiculous. Uh, great pass, by the way. Great shot, great pass. Bad decision to go zone by Brad Stevens. Yeah. I don't know why he goes. Everyone was eating him up for that. I guess, you you know, he's a great coach. I will say that. Uh, not everything plays out. But, I mean, that 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 pass to shot is like That's too easy. So Especially in the no, NBA. I mean, you think so? To, no, thought... to not too easy. The pass wasn't too easy. But to have a look off the first pass... Is like too easy. You can't. Th- there has to be. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm. I'm just talking about the pass itself. Oh, the pass was great because yeah, they put no Taco in on Lowry that. to yeah. get that pass over. Yeah. Which I understand. I guess I'm gonna be honest with you. From a basketball standpoint, I understand what Stevens was thinking. Like if I put Taco on the inbounds, exactly. by the time the ball gets to the opposite corner, even though that's our weak spot, we're gonna have time to rotate. rotate. Yep. But it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. just didn't work yeah. out that way. Yeah. Um, they're two two. Gemstar called Raptors in seven. I call it Celtics in six. So props to Gemstar because it was looking like a, it was going to be a sweep. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. The momentum now is in Toronto's favor. I know you're still sticking with I am. the Raptors. I still got Raptors in seven. Yeah. I said it before the series, series so I'm, I'm keeping with it. Even when they were 2-0, oh, I I, they, I mean, it was a, a, a last buzzer beater to, to save them. Yeah, game's a game, man. I the mean, Celtics match up really well against the Raptors. I have to say that. And they're young. They play defense. And they mm-hmm. keep them, you know, honest when they play half court. So... Mm-hmm. Um, but the Raptors, I feel like Kawhi instilled this mentality in them where you don't give up regardless. Because they were down 2-0 last year as well, remember? True. And they came back against Giannis. And they're coming off the championship. Yeah. And they're coming they're off the defending championship defending championships well. technically, right? I mean, obviously, you know, Siakam absolutely needs to step up his game because he's been playing really bad. Mm-hmm. Even last game, he, his, his, his percentage was really bad. But, you know, he did put up 23 um okay yeah yeah so and and, and i shout out to uh, props to to lowry because everyone hates on him as well but he's, i don't like he's him. A, I know <laughs> everyone hates him bro. yeah but he's a great leader and and he he's is. been playing really well so i think i feel like um and have the best coach man nick you know, nurse. i love nick nurse bro you know he's my favorite he's a good coach, coach. He's, he's i coach. think he's absolutely great he's a good coach. coach of the year coach of the year yeah. shout out to nick so, nurse coach of the year uh a couple other guys much as hell six man of the year yeah um Soon to be MVP, I'm assuming Giannis with yeah. the Defensive Player of the Year will be the third person to only do that behind Mike and Hakeem. We've said that a couple yeah. times on this yeah. show. Yeah, that's crazy. In the same season. That's crazy. And they, then they call him not, not top five. Crazy, right? <laughs> crazy how that works out. Yeah. Crazy. Um, I guess anything else you want to drop in? I mean, we've ran through it. No. All right. Uh, that caps our show, guys. Thank you for joining us. God bless. And stay tuned for more Vertical Views. Yes, sir.